What's up guys, Deck here, and today I have something that you have all been waiting for. I'm going to show you how to install MovieBox on iOS without jailbreak. This is something that I did because I know that my other one has just doesn't work anymore. So yeah, here's a new one. You can tell that I'm on iOS 8.4 because of Apple Music. It's a new feature. It's pretty cool. But yeah, let's get into it. First off, you're going to want to enter Safari, and I'm going to have the link to the website in the description. It is vshare.com. Now, this web page shall load, and you'll see this, just paid apps for free, all these things. Some of you might have heard of this before, but some of you might not have, that's something. You're going to want to click on Download, Unjailbroken and install. Now if you're on the iOS 9 beta, then once this has finished installing and you tap on it, it will not allow you to open it because it says the developer is untrusted and you can't open it until you until you trust the developer. So just tap on that. On iOS 8 or below, you're going to you're going to tap on trust. But on iOS 9 beta, On iOS 9 beta, you're going to have to go into settings, general, and profiles. But there isn't a profiles on here, I don't think. Nope, there's no profiles on here. So, yeah, you're, you just go into profiles, tap on the developer of the app, and tap on trust. That's all t you have to do to be able to um, open it on iOS 9 beta. The rest of the steps should be the same. Now just open vShare, it'll come up like this, it'll ask you for push notifications, so just turn that off, you're going to see a few of these, tap on search, it should be your 8th most searched topic, just go tap on that, <sighs> there, once it's loaded, oh, there it's loading, once it's loaded you should see that movie box is, it's odd, Movie box, oop, not Bix box. So go and search up movie box and wait for it to load there. It, sometimes it glitches out a little bit, don't know why. Don't quite know how to fix the, that glitch yet though, but um, just tap on search. And there it is, it shall pop up to the first one there. Tap on download and it should start downloading. Now, um, what you want to do, it's download complete, as you can see on the top. Go, um, if you don't have it already installed, it should have automatic installs on. I'll try to turn that off, on or off in a second. Click on install there, and you'll see that it is now currently installing. Now, I'll just show you how to do that. Um, just go over here, um, where is it? Uh, whatever, it'll automatically download it for you and install. So now you can see that I have MovieBox installed on iOS 8.4. If you want further proof other than the Apple Music thing, then you can just go into General, e About, and see that I'm on iOS 8.4 right there. So yeah, you can open MovieBox, <coughs> and then you can see that it works well. All you have to do is just go over there. I like to clear off the notifications first. You can go over there in movies and just go. Oh, this will have a fair amount of ads, but might not, whatever. Sometimes it does. You can choose the definition of the movies you want to download. Download and it'll. You can choose the server you want to download it from if it has multiple servers. You can watch it now. It works with TV shows as well. It's really cool. I might do a tutorial on this later. But yeah, it'll go into your queue and it'll give you a few tutorial things that when you first start out. But yeah, I'm not going to download this movie right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. You can delete vShare once you are done. And MovieBox will still work perfectly fine. Nothing needs to be done. But yeah, that's all we have for now. 
Um, it, it'll work on iOS 7 through 9 if you have the beta. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I will be having a link to this video from my old video so you can get this. You've probably got it here from that. But yeah, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.